Welcome back to F1 2018, boys. You join me at race number six of our F1 2018 career mode. We are at Monaco today. We have been doing quite well in the championship. We are fifth position overall. However, with the difficulty turned up to 99%, as well as us racing on Monaco, I don't know how well this luck, good luck is going to continue. The only good thing about Monaco for me is that the next race is the Canadian Grand Prix, which is my home race, which is probably my best race of the season, and I cannot wait for that one. Before we get into anything too much, let's talk about our R&D a little bit. So, uh, you might have known if you watched the previous episodes that I went in and I did a bunch of the upgrades for powertrain, aerodynamics, as well as the chassis. Well, the powertrain and the downforce upgrade failed, so we had to redo those ones. Our chassis upgrades are well on the way, and we are continuing on with those, and hopefully by next race those will be finished. I'm still sort of just packing in the resource points and doing quite well. Let's head over to qualifying, cross our fingers that this goes well. Just before we do head out on track, we do need to do our team goal, which is to qualify 6th or better, and this is our last weekend to make it happen. And as I was saying, Monaco is one of those tracks where either it can go very well or not so well. I don't know why, but even when I was a kid, Monaco was just that track that I drove on all- 10 place grid penalty for my component change, okay. Well, that we did expect after the last race, if you didn't watch the last video, go watch that one. Uh, I had a car problem, so uh, we had to do a component change for this race, but that means we already dropped down 10 places. Does that make it impossible for me to do my team goal now? But yeah, Monaco is just one of those tracks that does not go very well for me. It is such a small technical course, and it's just difficult. The harder I push, the worse I seem to do, so I sort of need to find... Like a good balance for me, Marcus Erickson has not made this drive very nice. But we're going to see what we do on our first flying lap. Let's see, we go, and the line's further than I thought. We go fifth, behind Leclerc. Oh man, that's not good. We do a 112. Oh, that's not good. We should be aiming for my for my skill level. We should be aiming for like the 110s. All right, let's get those nu those next tires fitted. And to be honest, I should probably head right back out on track. Yeah, the the AI is doing about a one a high 110. My teammates doing a 111.9. Should be around that ballpark, not 112. Come on, can I go faster? Boom, boom! Look at that, boys. That is P4, I've split the Mercedes! What a lap! I mean, actually, still P4 is what? Starting 14th place. That's, that's not good. <laughs> oh my god, Danny, Rick, and Verstappen absolutely blitzing it. There's my 110, by the way, that I was doing earlier in practice, and we just put a lap together. Our first one was rusty. All right, let's, uh... Let's sit straight to the race. I'm confident with that. But we will see how that affects Good day to day. our Tell us about race. it from your perspective. Let's see what our interview is. Hello, Claire? Things look close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? Go up against the champ and you'll lose. I like that. Okay, I keep going for showmanship. It's I keep been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Yep, keep on eye for me and I'll do something special. That showmanship again! You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Uh, the car was sliding all over the place. I don't remember hitting anything. Maybe I need to watch the replay. Renault rep! Why would my Renault rep How's your grip penalty that? going to affect your strategy going into the race? I'd be prefer to not stuck stuck in trap. How? How does that make my Renault rep time. go down? What the? What's going on? Yeah, I did piss off the team with my interview. I would just like to say, I qualified fifth, and you guys don't like me, morons. This is a very, very scary race for us. Let's see this starting grid and our awful, awful starting position. I really hope my qualifying actually counts uh, and actually gives us our team goal. That would be great. The Red Bulls are starting up front. Lewis and Valtteri in fourth and fifth. Kimi did not have a brilliant start. Where is my teammate, though? I am starting 14th. Ocon in 13th. Where is my teammate? Did he get another penalty? Please, no. Fernando 
down in 18th place. Wait, is Nico starting in like sixth place? I don't know if I like the two pit stop strategy around here. I'm thinking maybe we go from the uh, the hyper soft, which we're starting the race on, down to the super softs. Uh, that looks a bit ambitious. That strategy says we'll be about 13 seconds slower, but... Honestly, I think I like that a little more. We're gonna be on a funny strategy, but hopefully it's gonna keep us out of traffic. We're gonna go standard revs, ERS, let's go down to overtake mode, clutch in, rev it up, and away we go for the Monaco Grand Prix. We get a very good start as compared to Esteban Ocon. I am going to pull out of it though. I do not wanna be in a corner one collision. Ocon gets us back, completely comes in in front of us, nearly takes off of our front wing. That was very dangerous. Ocon getting on the brake super hard at the top of the hill. And we do go and break our front wing. We get a warning with Ocon. We got to get some overtakes in. We are getting slowed up so much right now. This is not good. Boys, we're on 99% difficulty. That's a caution. That is a caution. Turn, 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 turn. That is a big caution around the hairpin. I don't know what's happened there. Let me take a look. It was not caused by me. Oh, look, I think that's Charles Leclerc who is in front of me. I pull out next to him and he just stops. He didn't want to battle me through there. Meanwhile, I think that's Ocon all the way back there. He goes in reverse and then it's like a truly train and it's just bumper cars. I mean, I get everyone being able to run away from that and be able to drive away, but that's an absolute mess. There were like everyone back there was in reverse we're not going to be able to put in very good lap times but hopefully with the ai squabbling over each other hopefully we can still make something happen we have leclerc behind who caused that entire collision look how far back some of the guys are so we're in rich revs we are pushing for stoffel who is in 10th in front of us we just need to go and start putting in some good lap times Van Dorn is actually running away. I'm going to turn the car down. Just chill back here. We're taking our pit stop very soon. There might not be any point in pushing. Yeah, he just seems faster. With this damaged front wing, I can't really catch up to him. I think I'm going to come in on the next lap. See if I can get a little bit of an undercut in. I don't want to pit on lap three. That is far too early. We have to extend our super sauce. Oh, you can see that understeer now. That was full on turning into the corner. The car didn't move. The question I have to ask myself now, is it worth it to change my front wing? Because if I'm going to understeer like that, then yes, it is. If I can adjust to it and drive okay, then maybe I don't fix it. But as you can see, Stoffel has run away and Leclerc, who's behind, and now Ocon's even caught up to him. Maybe we should fix this front wing. I feel like I could go further. I know I'm not putting in the best laps, but I think we need that front wing changed. Even, all right, now we really need that front wing changed. I'm gonna lift in the tunnel. I'm not confident in the car. Oh my God, it's a good thing I lifted in the tunnel. We would not have stopped. Okay, boys, we're coming in. We're coming in. Oh, I didn't actually put the pit limiter on, but okay. Why do we have ultra softs going on? Um, I wanted super softs. I wanted super softs. That was not part of my strategy. I'm just saying, I think everybody saw that I chose super softs. My next tire selected was super softs. I don't know how the hell that happened, but okay. Anyways, we come out of the pits in 17th place. So not dead last. Shout out to that uh, brilliant start. This is one of those races that is just frustrating. I knew coming into this one that I would have trouble I didn't think it would be this much trouble, though. Let's turn the car up. Let's see how much we can really push. So just as I was about to say I wanted to turn up the car, make it a little faster, we are all out of battery. That is not good. We should have turned it down last lap. That would have made things so much easier. Why are there yellow flags? What is going on? I genuinely don't know what's going on. Uh, who is... Who is this? Why is there yellow flags? I don't know what's happening. Sorotkin's in front. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a Ferrari in front of me? What place is this Ferrari in? Kimmy is leading this race 
and he's lapped me? I so cannot wait for the next race. This is honestly my worst race of the season. And then we're going to my best race of the season by far. I'm sure I could turn the difficulty up to 110 and probably still get away with it. I'm finally sort of starting to get it around here. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why my time's popping up purple. My best lap time is a 115 and I just did a lap 116. And it pops up purple for some reason. I don't, I don't get it. There's like a glitch going on. And honestly, the other thing that I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand where the AI are. Any AI that would have qualified on the Hypersofts would have had to have pit. Yet, here I am in 16th place still somehow. I don't know how I can put together a qualifying lap like that. And then this happens. Okay, my steering's gone light. That was weird. I am so not enjoying this race, it's not even funny. Like, oh my god, I hate Monaco. Why is my car drifting out like that? What is my tire wear? 22%- what? Why are my rear tires on fire? Why are they at 109 degrees? Are you serious? How does Lance overtake? What a disaster. What an absolute disaster. I'm just saying 99 on any of the other tracks is all good. This one, I don't know what the hell like is going on. I just want to retire from this race. I'm so done. I'm so done. Oh, for God's sake. Yo. No. 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 I have never been more frustrated playing a video game than I am right now. This is so, so annoying. Move. Be aware we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Oh, you don't say, Mr. Engineer. Move. Move. It's going to need replacing already. If you try to overtake me, don't even try, buddy. And I'm getting blue flag now. Oh my god. How do you even let someone overtake on Monaco? Go on. I've realized the rest of this race is just going to be me getting blue flagged. Go on. All of you. Just keep going. You're all good. No, you're all good. Still all good. I'm done. We're gonna finish last, I'm, I'm done. I'm not wasting my time with this race. Car was garbage. I think I'm leaving Renault. So now my question is who actually finished where? Let's uh, let's take a look. Danny Rick pulls it back for the Red Bull boys. Nice stuff, Mr. Danny boy. Danny finishing first, Vettel in second, Bottas bringing up third place. Here's How'd our boy Charles do? Charles finished 11th. Not bad. Nico ahead. finished 6th. The then I don't care what else happened anywhere else. Good. I hope you enjoyed, Monaco. I'm sorry if you didn't, but next episode should be much, much better, as it is my home Grand Prix and the track I know the best. So, I apologize again. I will see you guys next episode for a very good one. I'll see you guys then. Bye.